Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Sagittarius. What is your shadow work, your shadow side for April 2023? You can apply this to any of your placements. Um, for those of you guys that don't know what that is, basically it's getting in touch with a uh, a part of yourself that you repress so that's our dark side we all have it a part of our healing personal growth and spiritual growth is getting in touch with that uh you know working with it uh so we're going to take a look and see what that is to you guys and then we'll finish off the read to see uh you know what else you guys need to know look out for uh work on um so apply this to your own unique situation keep in mind that these are general messages uh take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you take a look at your other placements keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective sagittarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one my new videos post and when i go live all right so tell me about Sagittarius. What is a Sagittarius, a shadow work, shadow side here for April 2023? Let's see, what is Sagittarius, a shadow work, shadow side for April 2023? Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. Seems like you have experienced a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain. In your family situation here okay perhaps some romantic relationships also we have the ten of cups here you know maybe someone here has been you know maybe divorced a couple of times you know maybe someone here has you know been in uh you know been through a family situation where someone here has seen divorces you know within their family their immediate family with their cousins with their aunts with their uncles and stuff like that just a lot of loss here just a lot of heartbreak okay you know this is so interesting you know i feel like one of the things i'm also getting here is that you know you know maybe on one side of the family you know someone here has seen you know pe like a, a lot of people like you know a lot of, of their own family members cheating on their spouses all right let's see what else we have here the seven of swords and the justice card you know one of the things i'm getting here uh what you're experiencing right now sagittarius i do feel like it's like you know karmic i do feel like it might be like a past life imprint or something like that one of the things i'm also catching here is that someone here has ex someone here has experienced a lot of health issues a lot of health issues like physical health issues such as body aches and pain and stuff like that um is someone here might have high blood pressure you know um you know one of the things i'm also getting is that someone here might have like osteoporosis I, I do feel like um you know maybe a lot of these things that you have it might be hereditary or something like that okay let's see tell me about the ten of swords here five of pentacles ten of cups you know one of the things i'm also feeling like you're just not mourning your losses and breakups like or, or people moving away or just dipping out on you in your own family in your relationships like i also feel like you're mourning um you know your ancestors i feel like you're also mourning you, you know um your past life yeah um five of pentacles here in the page of cups could be a situation that someone here might have lost a child maybe is mourning a loss of a child here Okay, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Three of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Wands in the reverse here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that maybe like there was a romantic relationship that you're in. Maybe it could have triggered all of this. Um, hurt this pain to come up to the surface i do feel like maybe both of you guys might have you know similar stories you know so similar similar stories the way that you grew up you know growing up in a very broken home very broken family you know i do feel like you guys came together because you know you guys had similar stories but you know i do feel like you know perhaps you know 
uh, you know, you guys might not have done any work surrounding this to sort of like transmute this. And I feel like this is an opportunity to do that uh, because we are heading into Mercury retrograde. Everything that, anything that gets buried under the surface comes up, okay? Uh, maybe, you know, could be a situation that, you know, when you were growing up, you might have lost a sibling or something like that. And now maybe someone here, you know, you and a spouse here lost a child and perhaps, you know, there, there's something going on here uh, where, you know, someone here has experienced a lot of losses, you know, it just hasn't really gotten over them. Uh, Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands, Justice, Eight of Pentacles here. <clears throat> Well, when you experience loss, you know, it's a very difficult process. It's a long and arduous grieving process. So, you know, I feel like you, if you are in this space, I feel like it's important not to beat yourself up over it. Uh, you know, um, you know, so Sagittarius, you know, typically these readings are more so for your personal growth, spiritual growth and healing. But, you know, you could apply this to someone that you know. Um, tell me more about Sagittarius. How can Sagittarius overcome this? Work with this. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Look out for. Work on. Eight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. You could be right now in a broken relationship where someone here is refusing to leave too. Yeah, but you know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that someone here is like maybe seeing the truth here. Maybe someone here is about to have a major breakthrough because it, it could be a situation also that, you know, you, yes, you could have maybe gone through all this, okay? But it, it could be also a situation that someone here is in a very broken relationship, uh, but there is an energy of like almost like refusing to leave, you know, you know what I mean? So, you know, it could be that, you know, traditions, and religions and culture could play a huge factor in this situation too because you know I, I feel like you know so in some cultures you know marriage is kind of like forever you know even if you are unhappy in the situation you are uh, you, you know you're 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 you're, you're, you're supposed to say in it uh, but at the end of the day you know you are your own person you have your you have free will so I feel like it's about finding that free will and freeing yourself in an unhappy situation that you're in. You know, if you're in this situation, I feel like also, uh, you know, there, there could be cheating here too, you know? It's just a very heartbreaking situation to uh, be a part of. And I feel like you're trying to free yourself from this, okay? Or that you, I see you freeing yourself from this because, uh, you know, we are in Mercury retrograde or coming into Mercury retrograde. And this is an opportunity for you to make some big changes uh, for anything that is uh, unresolved. Eight of Cups. We have the Hermit, Virgo Energy, the Ace of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, I see you distancing yourself from a situation that has been very unhappy for you for a very long time. And I feel like, like I said, it could be a situation that, you know, you've seen family members go through this. You know, maybe you've seen a past life here that you've been through this in the past life and I feel like you don't want to go that, down that road again, okay? Um, uh, let's see, the Ace of Wands here. Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, the Two of Pentacles here, and the King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do feel like you're this masculine here. You're about to make a life-changing decision here that you're not going to go back on. Yeah, I, I do feel like this is going to uh, give you a sense of relief. You know, uh, you know, I feel like the anger might start to lessen a little bit because, you know, what the... Uh, 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 the the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands in the reverse. That the, the, it's kind of like that's a very angry energy. Okay, uh, the Three of Pentacles here. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Nine of Pentacles here, and the Emperor here. Yeah, you. So I feel like you know, Sagittarius, you're about to level up here. You know, if this is like a generational and ancestral thing here, you know, I feel like your your uh, ancestors are really happy that you're about to make this big change here for yourself. You're about to break that, um, perhaps that ancestral curse or that generational curse. Even though it's not showing here, that's the energy that I'm feeling here, okay? So um, Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks guys, bye.